Hi Sagittarius, I am here to do your angel messages for you. Now this first group is going to have a major influence over all of the other cards, okay? So, this is an important card for this time frame. Let's see what we get. Wise Counselor. Okay, and what it says is unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust that the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Okay? So, this is the major contributor during this time frame. And now let's take a chakra card. This is to see which chakra, I mean they can all be in perfect balance, but this is to see if there's one that needs balancing or if it is more active than the others. Okay? Your crown chakra. And I will read to you about that. It's a very short read. Okay. Your crown chakra is known as I know. The crown chakra is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petaled lotus or the receiver of light. This chakra is the center of your link with the universe, the infinite, and your higher consciousness. It's the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where ethereal light and energy are received and then dispersed throughout your aura for total well-being. To balance this chakra, I find that meditation, breathwork, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, and color therapy work best. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to a point where it's possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. Well, that is powerful and beautiful. Okay, now let's see what the wisdom of the oracle would like to contribute to this time frame. Beautiful, higher power. Do you think that maybe possibly connects very well with the crown chakra? I certainly do. Okay, now let's take one for the spirit animal oracle. See what they would like to share. You have the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Wow. All of these look great. Okay. Now these cards are more of a minor influence, okay? This is going to have an impact on all of these. And so will these in a little bit of a lesser way. But these are the minor ones. So let's start with the air, which is the same as swords. Communication. Fairness, practicality, those sorts of issues. Hmm, you have an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. And I would say definitely. If you are experiencing, you know, this kind of a spiritual time, you don't want to deal with negative people You, if you don't have to. Okay, now let's go into the fire energy, or the wands energy, which is strength, being self-assured. Let's see what we get. Huh. Okay, conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama. 
unless the situation is really worth your time, then stand up for yourself. You can also be very ambitious people. You know, I can see a relationship between these two. They're both five energies as well. Okay. Now we're going to take one for Earth or Pentacles. Practical, grounded, cautious, that sort of energy. This is a beautiful energy. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoy your solitude. That is a very nice energy. Okay, and finally, let's get one for water. Four cups. This is about the emotions, psychic, nurturing, caring, those sorts of energies. You have the night. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. Well, that's really interesting. Okay. So these are the energies that are going to be with you during this time frame. And we'll take a few cards. <laughs> I think we need to. But okay, so quickly covering this again. These two are very spiritual. Okay? And this one kind of influences all of these. And so this talks about unity with a spiritually minded community. Okay? Okay? doesn't look so much like this potentially not that either these yes ask the divine to help and trust the answers will come compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you you know and a lot of times if you are going through some sort of a spiritual moment and people aren't used to that, you can um, get conflict. Yeah, so conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. I am not saying this is what's going on, but I'm saying it is a common thing that happens. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. It's also about, can be about very ambitious people which is, I would say, the positive side of this. But yeah, if something is said or done, you know, oftentimes the very best thing you can do is walk away. It's just not worth your time or effort. But there are times when you do feel like you need to stand up for yourself. And now this one, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So I would say on this particular card, during this time frame, you know, kind of keep your eye open on who you're hanging out with or who's trying to put themselves into your life. If it's somebody who does have questionable motives or who lack integ integrity, I just wouldn't take part in that, okay? And if it's you, try to make wise decisions. This is, you know, trying to put you on your ear, let you know that this is going on. And both of these are fives. So, they both can mean conflict or something negative. So just be aware of that. Now here is a beautiful energy. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work has led to a luxurious life. It is a solitary energy, but it is one that is full of abundance and joy. And then here, which I find interesting because it's kind of in contrast, not as far as the abundance part goes, but here is a solitary energy. And here it talks about 
you know, being swept off your feet, falling in love. So maybe you have been solitary and enjoying that. And watch out, because maybe something's going to come along and sweep you off your feet. Just make for sure it's not this type of energy. It, it's okay to be ambitious, but you don't want conflict, okay? It does look like that meat, you know, might be something that's going on here. Here you are enjoying your happy life, you know, abundant and everything that's right with the world. Somebody comes along, sweeps you off your feet. Well, that's enough to create <laughs> disharmony, you know. Maybe um, causes conflict. And be careful who it is. They could be the best thing that ever happened to you. But watch out for this card. Don't make unwise choices. And don't be around people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. So these are not genders. These are energies. But if somebody's coming to sweep you off your feet, make for sure they have your best interest at heart. Okay? But now for these up here, like I said, this is got a huge influence over all of these. And it's saying, unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help. So if you have any doubts, do ask the divine for help. Use your crown chakra and your higher power. But it's also saying, now is a lucky time. So this person might be just as true as true can be. This could be a storybook romance. Don't know. Okay, let's take a few cards. It looks kind of like there's a few different things going on in here in this reading. One is a potential romantic encounter. One is along the negative sides of arguments or people not having your best interest at heart. And here is a very spiritual energy of a wonderful kind. And here's this little lone bunny rabbit. Now is a lucky time. Maybe that's talking about this. Maybe, like I said, maybe they are just as true as true can be true. If that's the case. You might not be solitary for long. Okay, let's get a few cards. The Knight of Wands. That's two knights. Now, the Knight of Wands, um, like all knights, are the hardest working cards in the deck. Okay? They're very hard working. And apparently, this one's really hard working at getting somebody's attention. <laughs> okay. This particular knight is charged up with energy and passion and motivation and enthusiasm. Charged or channeling that energy through inspired action. Fueled by ambition and confidence. Beautiful, isn't it? And they are here to make things happen. That could be you. Let's see what else we have. Oops, I wiggled the camera. This is gorgeous. The Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning. One that holds the potential for lots and lots of abundance. It could be a new business venture. It could be just about anything that you're starting new. But it holds a lot of promise. And it's coming down underneath the nine of pentacles, which is an extremely abundant energy. And you know, come to look at it, this card is coming out underneath the five of wands. And the last thing it says about that is a very ambitious, well, it says people, but person. This 
is very ambitious as well. So maybe there isn't a disagreement. Maybe it's talking about ambition. Yeah, it could very well be because I see ambition. You didn't get here without ambition. This knight is definitely ambitious. This says it could be ambitious. This is ambitious. And this is probably ambitious, but in a negative way. Okay, let's take another card. Hmm, okay. That is holding on too tightly. It's about pinnacles, or I personally think it could be about other things as well. But it's holding on tightly to your money. But I would say, in general, it's holding on too tight. That could be where some of these issues could be coming from. I think we should take a card to clarify that one particular card. Okay, and I don't remember if I said this or not. <laughs> Sorry. But only take with you what resonates. Leave the rest behind. And don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising for a more complete picture. If I did say that at the beginning... Please disregard that one. Okay. All right, that's clarified by the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a master of his inner and outer worlds. He feels all of his emotions, but he does not let them control him. He controls them. You see all these choppy waters? He still has his hand out. He's compassionate. He just, you know, he's not going to let his emotions control him. He's going to control them. And I can see this card having the potential of you holding on too tight because of an emotional involvement of some sort. So, learn from this king. Have all your emotions, but do not let them affect you in a negative way. Okay? Don't hold on so tight. Things are better in a state of flow than they are being all boxed up. Okay. Let's see if... No, let's see what the Divine Doors would like to add. Well, this came right out. Draw down the moon. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. <laughs> this is one of these whimsical ones, but you know what it reminds me of, or where I think I should put it, is right on top of this night. <laughs> Maybe you have a lot of fun coming in store for you. Okay, so, sum it all up. Very spiritual time. And I do think there's a few different things going on here. Very spiritual time. A very lucky time potentially a romance but do watch out to make for sure that people that you're around do have your best motives at heart and this says it could be a conflict but I think because the knight of wands came right underneath it it's probably more about being very ambitious here you have a new start that is most likely going to bring about a lot of abundance. So there would come the rabbit spirit. It's a lucky time. And here, the four of pentacles holding on too tightly, which happens to come under this. You know, as well as him, but I, I don't see him holding on too tightly. Just be careful, don't do that. Be in a state of flow. Use your king of cups energy. And this card is just too whimsical. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. Yeah, totally that night. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get a turn. Love. Okay, this could be all kinds of love, it could be the spiritual love. It could be the love that you're going to have when you're totally abundant. It could also be the love 
with Mr. or Miss Knight here. Okay. I hope you have a great time. Love and light. Bye.